All right, so mine was called Graduating with Our Senses. Um, my area of focus or problem of practice was I work with a lot of kids who have sensory issues. They can't attend a task. They, you know, they're just all over the place. Um, I work with students who are on the autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, multiple disabilities, developmental delays from K all the way to eighth. Sometimes I go to high school. Um, <clears throat> so this project focused on using sensory tools and methods to be able to increase their attention, to learn a task or a skill and maintain that um, skill. Uh, the research I did, unfortunately there's not a whole lot of research on sensory issues, um, sensory strategies. I found a few and um, they actually said that it did help them improve, but I did um, collaborate with other occupational therapists in other school districts to see what they used um, and to see what worked for them. Um, the action plan and process for implementation, uh, during my therapy sessions as soon as we got into the therapy room, we would do um, something sensory, whether it be heavy lifting with a, a heavy ball, a heavy lap pad, a um, textured ball, I've got tunnels we go through. We would do that as soon as we got in the room. Then we would go to the table and do our skill or whatever I wanted them to do. Um, <clears throat> and we utilized those sensory tools to increase their attention. Um, I also worked with the special ed teachers and um, general ed teachers to try to get them to use these sensory strategies in their classrooms to help it. Um. All right, uh, and we used a variety of things. We used cushions in their seats. We used the big therapy balls for them to sit on, tactile items, putty, um, resistance tunnels, tubes, uh, scooter boards, all kinds, of, if, all kinds of different things. Um, I already said that. <laughs> And I also worked with the other related service providers like speech, PT, to try to get them to do the, the sensory activities. And this is some of my students. This is the resistance tunnel. They could either crawl through it by themselves or this is a big therapy ball. They push so they're getting that deep input um, to be able to, to hold their attention and hopefully finish what I needed them to do. Um, this was one of their favorites. They would come in and say, hey, Miss Wendy, can we do the tunnel first? Um, so they really, really liked the tunnel. Um, we would also do putty. Uh, we would do just finger exercises with the putty. We would push beads in. They would have to find the letters and tell me a word that started with that letter or something. So we um, worked on educational stuff, too. Those <clears throat> is a weighted lap pad and it has like a marble in it so they could put it on their lap and it gave them that proprioceptive input and then they could fidget with it while they were doing the task. Um, this is our cushions that we sit in our seat and this um, from my special education teacher, this re they really liked this and this really helped them to focus on what they were doing at the table and then we also used the big therapy balls for them because it gives them movement so they don't have to be up running around, they can have that movement while they're doing their task. And then this is just, these are really cool. They really like these two. This is a big weighted ball, and it has little weighted balls inside of it, so it's kind of smushy and cool. And then it's also weighted, and we would throw it back and forth or roll it and just still get them that proprioceptive input. Um, we used the weighted uh, blankets and lap pads. That really helped um, keep their attention. And then we had a scooter board. Uh, it's really hard to go from, like we had went from the door to this task, you know, and they're like struggling and struggling and, and they got better as, it, as they went on and that just gives them both the deep pressure and the, the movement. And then I had all kinds of different textured balls, different little things they could fidget with beforehand or fidget with while we were trying to complete the task. <clears throat> and when I first started this I wanted to see like in order to grade it or whatever if they met a goal uh, but really that's kind of from November to March we kind of couldn't do that so but it really really did help their attention to task they loved doing it as soon as we come in the room they would ask for it um, the teachers were very consistent in using the materials provided on a daily basis um, and up on interviewing them they uh, improve their attention, their on-task behavior, and their peer-to-peer -peer interactions um, using these these tools. Um, 
and they just they demonstrated vast improvements in attention. They would sit for longer periods and actually complete what I wanted them to do. And I think it is helping them to retain those skills too. And that's it. Any questions? Um, I got it from Abilitations, Abilitations uh, website. Yeah, they have, I think every bit of that stuff came from Abilitations. Yep.